released an album in Russian. What was the inspiration for that and where did it come from initially? What was the first spark? For us, the first spark was really when we were children and we were Americans and we were in a cold war with Russia and it seemed impossible that we could ever be here. Yeah. And so being kind of rebellious people from yeah. Yeah. a young age, we immediately wanted to learn about Russian, Russian culture and Russian history. Cool. And we've always been learning about this. And it finally came to the point where we felt the need to, to make some music about it. So here we are. Yeah, yeah it was just something we had, we had to get out. But uh, we, it was something that we couldn't do until we felt really inspired. And then we... The moment was, the, the, was right. Was the time right. was right. And it took us about three years to get it to where we felt like it was from, from our heart, you know, like in, uh, doing it correctly. We did um, most of the recording actually three years ago because of our tour schedule being continuous uh, for 13 years now straight. If we don't finish a recording immediately in one session, then sometimes it takes almost a year before we can go back into the yeah. studio. But this time it, it was a fortunate thing because we were able to visit the city Volgograd before the album was totally complete. Uh, there were a, a few vocals that we finished after mm -hmm. yeah. visiting there. And, and then we did the artwork too, which is what's something that was very important to us was to, to get the artwork together and um, uh, you know photograph... Uh, the things we needed to, to complete the story. Edgar actually did uh, some of the album art, parts of it are historical yeah, yeah. Uh, photographs, but the ones that aren't are his, and uh, it was really cool to be able to be in the place we made our album about and making the, the art there. Every piece of music that we make is inspired normally from something real that happened, that moved us. It's it's not the only part of, of Russian history for sure that is inspiring to us but this piece that we structured the album around is so important and so so huge in world history and we certainly hope that it will illustrate that <laughs> Russia is quite a rare occasion still for an American band. Any experiences you learned? At this point we're pretty used to it now. It feels very comfortable to us. Uh, the first time it was kind of just getting thrown into it, especially uh, getting on the trains and stuff and uh, learning the protocol on the trains and you know, just even simple things like not wearing your shoes inside and not, you know, like uh, not putting your shoes on the this bed. Is not and a common you know, American practice. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and the, hot, the hot water uh, yeah. stations at the end of each train where you can you can fill your noodle cup and and just little things like that. And, uh, and now you know we know that you don't have to wait for a cab. You can just you know, you can flag some. I mean, there's all these little tiny things that the first time we came here were huge, you know, to us. But now it's uh, this will be our third tour here, and it's getting more comfortable each time. And we're we're actually getting to the point where we don't need to ask for help as much. The first time that we were here, it was very fast. I think we only did uh, three shows, or maybe mm -hmm. four. And I was really frustrated the whole time because I couldn't read anything. Mm -hmm. And on the second tour, um, I met a friend who taught me to read and gave me her wow. uh, her dictionary between English uh -huh. and Russian. And so I learned the, the little, yeah. Cyrillic <laughs> alphabet. Yeah. And now, 
sometimes I can actually, you know, pronounce the word I'm reading. Sometimes I can't, but still, at you least I'm not frustrated because everywhere I look, there's some words that mean yeah. nothing to yeah. me. <laughs> and it's great because you know she's vegan, so she can read the um, in ingredients to, to read, things yeah. in grocery stores. <laughs> yeah. Like things like that make a, a big difference and make it more comfortable. Do you feel uh, the evolution in terms of uh, perception of, of the, the band in Russia? Because I bet uh, the first time you came in Russia, a lot of people were totally new, even at, at gigs, uh, to your music. We were surprised when we came the first time at how many people actually knew yeah. our albums. Mm -hmm. But because on our albums, in, sometimes we've done some things which are nothing like our live show, yeah. a lot of people were expecting us to be kind of a different band. Yeah. Um, yeah. And our, our live show is... It's present on all of our albums, but it's not always it's not the always most the main thing. The the I main think the one sound. we just put out is probably closest to like our show, I guess, as far as the yeah. tonality throughout. But we've always used uh, different uh, styles of music to project emotion to help um, tell the story. To help tell the story, but we we would never play these songs in a live environment. Like. And for our first tour in Russia, no one of course knew this necessarily, <laughs> and maybe they're expecting some softer stuff or different, yeah. you know, you know and uh, after acoustic. the first <laughs> tour, the, the response though, people were very yeah. happy and excited, and, and when we've come back each time it's been better. The people here have made an impact on us, and it's yeah. really cool that we've made some kind of an impact on them also.